This is Super Yacht News with Yves Sisman. Hi, welcome back to the channel. Okay, we've got a lot of information to go through tonight, so I'm just going to get straight into it. So the photographs you can see on the screen right now, these were sent in recently by an anonymous uh, viewer. And these are p photographs of the yacht Eleonora E. Very sad looking photographs. Um, you Regular viewers will remember we, we followed the story of this yacht that was hit by, of all things, a search and rescue vessel in the port of Tarragona in Spain last year. The vessel sank within 30 minutes and then sat on the marina floor for three months before it was salvaged by a salvage team arranged by the insurance companies. We had hoped that the yacht was going to be repaired and go back to sea. And we, we actually were told a story that the vessel was being towed out of the marina and going somewhere to be worked on. However, a couple of months later, we received a not so good story from someone else saying that the vessel had been towed somewhere in France, which uh, we don't know the actual location. And then yesterday we received these photographs. Now the photographs were sent anonymously and we replied and asked for more details you know where it is etc but we didn't get any reply back but you can see in these photographs here that the vessel is not being repaired you can see the masts have been snapped off i don't know how they did that what they used to snap those masts but you can see in another photograph the mast laying on the floor so it does look like the vessel has been slowly dismantled um I'm, you know taking out whatever's valuable that kind of thing so that's a very sad ending for for a beautiful yacht isn't it all right so we'll move on now this story is about the Australian Navy uh, rescuing a crew from a stranded yacht. Now, the, the crew of a 30 meter or 98 foot yacht that got into trouble were rescued by the Australian Navy on the 6th of March. Uh, the yacht had experienced engine trouble and they had, I believe they initially rescued the guests that were on board, but the crew were reluctant to leave the yacht. Uh, and, and obviously they were still trying to get the engines running again. Uh, later on, the, the Australian Navy rescued the crew, the remaining crew that were on board. There were six crew members on board. And this happened uh, in northeast of Darwin in Australia, in, in international waters uh, towards uh, Indonesia. Now the vessel that you can see on screen here, this is, it's called Moti Yacht Viviere 2. And it's described on their website as a mega yacht styling within a manageable 30 meters. Um, the rescue was by the Australian destroyer HMAS Hobart. Um, now the yacht has been left at anchor and they're saying that they're gonna go and collect it and return into harbor as soon as the weather conditions are suitable. All right, we'll move on to the next uh, story now. This is about a 67 meter or 219 foot support vessel a uh, yacht slash support vessel called Blue Shadow. Now this vessel was arrested in South Africa, in Cape Town in South Africa on the 7th of February. And the government were preparing to sell this vessel. So they, what they were doing is they arrested it, they pr prevented it from leaving, and they were going through the courts to get permission, like for a full dis uh, foreclosure on the, on the yacht and sell the yacht uh, to raise the funds. Now the reason why they were doing this is because there was a claim against the the alleged owner of the yacht. Now he was a, he's a described as a local businessman, uh, a South African individual from Cape Town, and he had been in Equatorial Guinea in a few years ago, and he claims he was arrested and imprisoned for 18 months without charges. Now the yacht is alleged to be owned by the vice president of Equatorial Guinea, and the claim was against the VP who had arrested him because of a business dispute with a relative of the vice president. So the South Africa businessman spent 18 months in prison, but was never charged with a crime according to the documents shown to the court. And he obtained a judgment in the court in Cape Town for compensation and the yacht was arrested as a result. However, the sheriff uh, of Cape Town East said that the yacht had been released from arrest at the end of February after the settlement was re reached with arresting creditors attorneys. Uh, after the release, the vessel sailed to Namibia, where she is currently located. And the, the yacht was built in uh, San Diego in 1994 by Campbell Yachts. All right, we'll move on one more story. And this is about a yacht fire in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, firefighters were called to the yacht on Wednesday morning 
and this yacht was docked outside a home in Fort Lauderdale, very nice area in Fort Lauderdale. The yacht, a 26 meter or 88 foot princess yacht, which was built in the UK, was unmanned at the time. Uh, and the entire top deck of the yacht was on fire when firefighters arrived. As you can see in the video footage, or, uh, sorry, as you can see in the photographs here, uh, these are from the, um, the fire department in that area. Um, and the, the, the vessel's actually ironically called Hot Pursuit. Um, and uh, there was nobody on board, so there was no casualties, but there's also no word of what caused the fire. Um, the, the, the entire top deck of the vessel was destroyed. Now the yacht, which is made from GRP, uh, is currently unknown if it's a total loss. Now you can, you know, you can make your own mind up based on this video footage. This is from a local uh, news channel, local10.com. Oh, we've actually got another story, actually. Like I said, there's a lot of stories tonight. And this is about uh, a company in Spain. We mentioned this a while back, about maybe about a month ago. Uh, Master Yachts, uh, the company, a yacht management company in Spain. The owner of this company, Richard Masters, he was arrested um, after an indictment from the US where they claimed he was circumventing sanctions for the owner of the yacht, who's, who's believed to be the Russian Victor Vexelberg. Now, the yacht Tango was arrested early last year after the sanction, after the invasion of Ukraine, and the yacht's been in Palma de Mallorca ever since. Now, Masters ran a yacht management company in Palma de Mallorca called Master Yachts. He allegedly took over the management of motor yacht Tango, the, just, the, the Justice Department, the US Justice Department said, and he allegedly changed the yacht's name on paper to motor yacht Fanta to help avoid sanctions restrictions from banks. Now, if you, if you remember, we talked about this, that Tango is a, is a drink, carbonated orange drink in the UK, uh, and obviously Fanta is known around the world as a, as a similar product. So it wasn't very well hidden. Um, Masters, along with a Russian man, also indicted, allegedly used shell companies to allow Vexelberg's ownership of that yacht. The US sanctions forbid American companies from conducting business with those sanctioned entities. And then the statement from the US Justice Department said, as a result of these schemes, the working mechanisms of Tango in, to include its internet technology, weather forecasting and computing systems, as well as the trappings of Tango, including its satellite television, uh, were all of US origin and service uh, supplied by US companies for the benefit of Vexelberg. Now, the reason why we brought it up is because the company Master Yacht, it was a, it's a very well-known company in, in Palma de Mallorca and, and it services a lot of the larger yachts. And the, the company has apparently ceased uh, trading. The website has been taken down. If you go to masteryachts.com, you just see a thing saying that they're doing some work on the site. And also people who work on yachts that were previously managed by Master Yachts are saying that their pay slips are now coming in with a different company name on. So. The most likely scenario here is that this company will rebrand itself and then just start trading again to, to get rid of that, that name, which is obviously tainted because of what's happening there. Now, the, the US government tried to extradite uh, Mr. Masters uh, from uh, Spain to America immediately, but the courts in Spain overruled that and allowed him to stay. So yeah, so that's an ongoing case right now. Anyway, uh, before we go, I just want to say, check out our Patreon page. It's at patreon.com slash esisman. You'll get to see exclusive videos not published on YouTube, like our uh, Q&A for patrons only. You'll get to early access to features advert free, and you'll get to suggest topics for future videos and ask questions for upcoming Q&As. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. If you've got any information about any of these stories or any other stories, you know how to get in touch. You do it through the About page of the YouTube channel. You can get us on Instagram, on Facebook Messenger. You can also get us on Threema. Be sure to like this video, very important. Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for future notifications. All right, guys, thanks very much, and I'll catch up with you soon. Bye-bye.